The sacrifice Army Lieutenant Victor Candle made is finally recognized in front of the high school he graduated from in 1939. But the real story is found at the back of Terry Candle's truck. I knew these letters had to be there somewhere, so I looked till I found them. <laughs> Candle's father, Victor, fought and died in World War II. He grew up without his dad, never knew him, not until this spring when he found these letters. It turned him into a real person, you know, from this fan of hero from World War II. It turned him into, oh, this is a real guy. Hundreds of letters written by an Army soldier to the love of his life from the battlefield. Letters that paint a picture of the man that he was. His determination is probably the most outstanding characteristic, and his determination to get through the officer training and become an officer. He didn't give up. Qualities he showed on and off the battlefield, most notably in 1944. Candle led a skeleton platoon through the mountains of France, ultimately overpowering more than 50 German soldiers. Candle went on to die in the war, but was recognized with the Congressional Medal of Honor, a medal that sat in his wife's closet all these years later. That didn't sit well with some. And I was thinking, Medal of Honor, why, why don't we know anything about this? We got a Puyallup guy that got the Medal of Honor in World War II. It took the VFW in Puyallup two years to raise the money for this monument, officially recognizing the hometown boy for his service in World War II. And on this Memorial Day weekend, that's exactly what they did. It's, it's interesting because the man was forgotten and now he isn't. And that's what's important. For his son, it's a chance for the public to hear stories he's heard all these years. An opportunity to welcome this soldier home. It's great recognition for my dad. Yep. Well deserved. I wish he's here. In Puyallup, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.